This world consists of many individual things. We like to share the desire to organize and classify objects and concepts. We often think them as groups. Hi, my name is Althea and you're watching Marie the Koala. Today, I'll be discussing sets and types of methods in sets. Two, three! Dogs, school supplies, Filipino people, electrical appliances, and birds are all groups of the same kind of individual objects. In the subject that we are discussing, which is mathematics, we start forming groups of collections which are called sets. Set is a well-defined collection of objects. The objects that make up a set can be anything, like numbers, people, animals, and so on. It follows a certain common rule. This rule helps to identify whether a particular object belongs to our group or not. For example, set A is a set of storybooks, while set B is a set of educational books. Each member or objects are called an element of the set. For example, set A, we have the natural counting numbers under 6, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Those numbers are elements. Now, let's count the elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The numbers of the elements contained in the set are called cardinal. Now, I'm going to introduce to you the three different methods in sets. These are called description method, roster method or tabular form, and rule method or set builder notation. Description method is a method when we describe the elements, and description of elements is enclosed in braces that looks like this. This is the example of description method. Roster method or tabular form is a method where all elements of the set are listed and separated by commas and also enclosed by braces. This is the example of roster method or tabular form. As you can see, there are three dots which are called ellipses that are used to indicate the established pattern continues without an end and ellipses is read as and so on. Rule method or set builder notation. This is pretty complicated. In this method, elements are not listed but are represented by specifying property or a general to all the elements. Rule method or set builder notation always takes the form. This is the example of rule method or set builder notation. As you can see, the symbol that is a straight line between the two X's stands for the word such that. Sometimes, we use the symbol colon in the place of the symbol that is a straight line. Excellent! Now you know the definition of sets and the three different methods of sets. Before we end my video lesson, let's have a fun fact for this video. Did you know that George Cantor invented sets in mathematics? That's all for now. Make sure to like the video if you learned something new. Thank you for watching. Have a good day! Welcome to Math Learning. Today, we're going to study different types of sets. The first type of set is the Fenin set. It is a set having a fixed number of elements. It means the number of elements in a set can be counted. Example, A is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7. Other example, the set of officers in a class. The second type of set is the infinite set. It is a set without a fixed number of elements. It means the number of elements in the set cannot be counted. 
Example, the set of natural numbers. Other example, the set of the star in the sky. The third types of set is the single tone set. It is also known as a unit set with exactly one element. Example, seven is single tone set containing only one element. Other example, the current president of the Philippines. The fourth types of set is the empty set. A set that contains no element. It is donated by this symbol as you can see on the slide. Example, the set of months having more than 31 days. The last type of set is the universal set. A set containing all of the elements of interest in a particular situation. It is donated by this symbol as you can see on the slide again. Example, the set of mangoes in a fruit seller shop is a sub subset of the universal set of a fruit in the shop. So again guys, just a quick recap. The five types of set are infinite set, finite set, single tone set, empty set, universal set. So I hope you guys have learned from me today. My name is Ayersha and see you guys on our next math learning. Bye! Hello JP Guns! Welcome to Matali Tutorial. I am Kuya Vince A and A for Anthony. Today we will be dealing and learning about sets. Before we formally start, let us define what is sets all about. Set is a collection or group of well-defined and well-distinguished objects. Now, I will show you one instance of sets. We have here a set of crayons. This set of crayons has various colors. And these colors is what we call elements of sets. For instance, yellow is an element of set. Pink is also an element of set. Lastly, orange is an element of set as well. But what if we take away white and gray from the set? Are these still elements of set? Easy! White and gray aren't elements of set of crayon. Do you wanna know how to classify set? FYI, we can classify set according to cardinal now. A set is said to be finite if it is a limited number of elements. A set having an unlimited number of Elements is known as infinite set. Let's go back to our example a while ago. This set of crayons is finite because the number of crayons is countable. What if we have only one element of set? How do we classify this? Excellent! We call it singleton set. A set is said to be singleton if it has exactly one element. What if there is no element in a set? We call it empty set. A set is said to be empty set if it has no elements. As you can see, I have here a tray containing prayers. This is what we call universal set. A set containing all of the elements is called the universal set. That's all for now, GP guys. Enjoy this watching. <laughs> what we... Now, now.